What's happening, you jeets? John B. here with yet another banger. It's bright and early in the morning here in Northern Illinois, and I'm out in a lake that I've actually never fished before in the open water season. Right now, I'm on top of the exact spot in which I caught my first ever muskie. But the funny thing is, is I've never actually fished this place when it's not completely frozen. Today, I'm going to try to see if I can figure out how to catch some of these bass. And along with piecing together a pattern here and just doing some good old fashioned bass fishing, I'm gonna intro you guys to this month's Mystery Tackle Box Pro Box. I haven't even opened this thing yet, so it's gonna be a surprise for both of us. You guys were asking for some good old fashioned bass fishing, so here it is. Stay tuned and enjoy. First spot posted up on this little weed edge here. I'm gonna try to stick to fishing deep today because it's gonna get hot. Just take a look up there. Not too many clouds, which means not too much shade. I'm gonna give it a good old healthy college try. And then if that doesn't work, I'm gonna move up to some of these reedy areas and throw a throw a frog or some sort of topwater bait. Maybe get in the mat with a punch jig. I don't know. We'll, we're just gonna to have to figure them out today, guys. Nice cast. Right in the juicer. Come on, hooked up. Oh, he came off. No. Wiener. That was a good bite. I'm not gonna lie. I do kind of know what's in this box, but I also am not 100% sure. I think there might be a lure in here that's really going to help me out today. Again, this is the box for the month of August. Pro box. Ready? One, two, three. This is the lure that I was after. The Weston Danny the Duck. It's a weedless duck lure. This is going to be the lure that I'm going to throw up in this shallow reedy stuff. I mean, look at these reeds. I got to fish this stuff. It looks fantastic. That's a fish. That's a fish. There we go. Stay on. Feels pretty solid. Oh, it's going in the grass. Feels pretty good. Does not feel tiny. Oh yeah, not a bad one. Oh, a little largey on the drop shot. Oh, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Nice. That's what's up. First fish of the day. That was on the drag and drop. The juice. Gotta start somewhere. Not a bad one too, especially for Northern Illinois. See you, bub. <laughs> yeah, so this is what I'm fishing right now. I don't know really what this is. It looks so much like a dam, but it kind of, I don't know, it, 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 it's, it doesn't, look, it looks like a dam, but also doesn't look like a dam. That's a fish, that's a fish. Oh my gosh, like second cast after my first one. This one feels a little bit bigger. That or it's just in the grass. Oh no, I'm in the grass. Get him out, get him out, get him out. Oh yeah, that is much bigger. <laughs> Woo, come on, Sally. Come on, Larry, get in here. Oh, they're getting bigger, guys. They're getting a lot bigger. Come here. Come here. Ooh, yeah. It's so weird because right now I'm fishing around a lot of grass. So whenever you pull that drop shot out of the grass, it feels kind of like this really soggy, loose weight. And that's also kind of what the bite feels like. So I'm hesitant to set the hook sometimes because it, the bite legitimately feels just like you're pulling the bait out of grass. That is what we need. Hey, how's it going? How are you? What's that? Yeah, it's real. Oh my. Yeah, what do you think? Wow, good, good luck. Th thank you so much. You have a great day. <laughs> All right, thank you, buddy. Time to set you free. Doesn't feel giant. It's another one of the drop shot. God, these largemouth, they pull pretty hard for their size. Look at that, I'm fishing these big stalks of weeds down there, dropped it right in between two strands. And this guy cranked it. Nice little guy. Third one of the day for me. Big kicker. Man, you're fat. Little guy. Squeaker, little pickle. <laughs> you're cute. Yup, you're cute. You must not have gotten the memo that I am only chasing after pigs today. Also destroyed my drop shot too. Okay, settle down, settle down, settle down. Ugh, you're a mess. Get out of here. Go home. Oh, that was that was invigorating. Feels a little bit better. This rock wall is just stacked, like stacked with fish. Like there are so many bass in this little thing. Not too shabby. Nice little one pounder. I gotta get rid of this drop shot. I love it so much, it's great for finding fish. 
But the thing is, the fish that I'm finding aren't necessarily the ones that I'm, I'm after. I want to catch, you know, some two, three pounders, maybe an oddball four or five. Nonetheless, quality bites. Get back down there. Oh. Watching them swim all the way to the bottom is probably the coolest thing ever. I love fishing clear water. It is just the pinnacle, in my opinion. So this is for everyone out there who's curious what a drop shot rig looks like. As a kid, I was really intimidated by it because it seemed like there was a lot of moving pieces and the, and the rig itself looked very technical and difficult, but it's straightforward. All it is is you've got a hook right there and then about 12 inches below that hook, you've got a weight. And the hook size, I like to keep it small. Some people like to do big, some people like to do even smaller than this. This is perfect in my opinion. I think this is a size two octopus hook. And the reason why I like an octopus hook is because you don't necessarily have to really jam that hook into the fish's jaw. It's just kind of a, a real subtle sweeping motion or you just reel right down to the fish. Then below that, you've got your weight and that also varies. I don't care what anyone says, there's no rules to drop shot fishing. You can drop shot whatever you want. You can drop shot a craw, you can drop shot a swim bait, you can even drop shot a 12 inch worm. It all depends on what your heart desires. I prefer a small little worm. This is a Guggenbait's drag and drop, just nose hooking that deal and that's all there is to it. Well, I got a pretty healthy dose some drop shot fishing in. That bank right behind me is where I caught pretty much all of my one to half pound largemouth on the drag and drop. I'm gonna see what else this lake has to offer though. So I just got done fishing the east side of the lake. I'm gonna check out the west side. I think the north side has a bit of grass, which I do believe will come into big play throwing that little duck lure. But this morning I did a little cruising, some patrolling, and I did find that this lake is pretty damn deep. It's got a ton of grass. It's clear as titties. Other than that, I haven't found anything extraordinary unique yet. Let's keep exploring. Oh my goodness. Okay, duck just got eaten. Duck just got eaten. That duck just got freaking eaten. In the boat. <laughs> well, that just happened. <laughs> I'm like, so I went, so I'm on the, I can't even speak, listen to me, I'm all over the place. I'm on the west side of the lake right now. I came over here, fished it for a good 10 minutes, realized it wasn't what I was looking for. It's really shallow, it's a little bit muddier, and it just wasn't the juice that I was kind of honing in on. So on my way out of here, I'm throwing the duck, <laughs> the, little, the little daffy duck. What is it called, the Danny duck? I don't freaking know. It's crazy though, I'm throwing this duck. It's a completely weedless duck, and I threw it up in some stuff just like this. Took my third cast on the same, Weed edge, <laughs> and this guy annihilated it. The way he hit it, I thought it was like a freaking 20 pounder. I mean, that was just ferocious. Duck prevails, how about that? All right, let me get situated here real quick, guys. Funny thing is, I wasn't even really trying to catch a fish in the duck. I know that sounds kind of stupid. Like, obviously, how are you not trying to catch a fish with your line in the water? But in all reality, I was just kind of focusing on getting past this bridge so I can fish in more drop shot zones. And I decided to take a cast at some reeds. It looked kind of good. Did not see that coming. I kind of want to read up on this big now. Where's the package from this thing? So the people that actually make this bait are from Scandinavia. So it's not even a US company. Wow, that's pretty interesting. It's a three and a half inch bait. It's called Danny the duck. That is hysterical. I mean, I've fished some pretty crazy lures out there and I've actually caught a decent amount of fish on the duck lure, but I've never fished one that is completely weedless and meant to be brought through like thick vegetation. Like this in of itself is supposed to be a frog, but the thing is, is a lot of ducks will actually, especially ducklings, will scoot across, you know, duckweed. That's interesting. The Danny the Duck strikes. Anyway, wow, that was shocking. <laughs> if you guys want to sign up for Mystery Tackle Box or Mystery Tackle Box Pro, or any of the boxes they have, whether it be for panfish, catfish, saltwater, whatever it may be, check the link in the description below, use this code, get yourself a nice little discount, and see what they have in stores for you. I'm primarily a pro box user because I'm a professional angler. I fish the uh, Elite Series Tour and all that jazz. No, I'm just I'm just kidding. Uh, the pro is for anyone. The pro is just for someone who wants to step up their game and uh, try out some more lures and get more bang for their buck. Okay, a little Scandinavian duck. We're gonna take you to some some vegetation, see if we'll toss you into a bucket mouth's jaw. I don't know, I got good vibes now. Let's go find some grass. That gives me a ton of hope. So as you can see, I've abandoned my my drop shot technique and I'm going for broke with the duck. The water's just as clear back here. I thought it'd be a little bit dirtier with all this all this vegetation, but it's pretty damn clean. And the cool thing is, is uh, 
I'm liable to catch not only bass back here, but pretty big pike and or some muskie. I just gotta find the right water. A lot of this looks too shallow, but we'll see. No, I broke off. That was a pike. No, Danny. No, Danny the duck. What the sh Lost a brave soldier today. Damn it. Damn it. You poor soul. Oh, what the f man? I thought I had. Oh, God bless America. Well, it's a sad moment. I was just kind of getting on a steamy roll. I was starting to get red hot there, and uh, I believe what I think is a pike decided to end all the fun. Slow clap for that one. Thankfully, I've got more than just a duck in my arsenal. I believe I've got a frog in here somewhere. Where are you at, Toady? You know, you're no duck, but we'll still give you a run. Cue the comments. Uh, maybe if you didn't set the hook so hard, you wouldn't have lost your frog. Set the hook however I wanted to set the hook, so there. Eat it. <laughs> I may have engaged the hook set a little bit too fiercely there, but something tells me in my deep down gut that that was most likely a pike. Hence why it was such a crisp and clean break off. Uh, fear not, fret not, I do have more topwater frogs in the boat. I've got plenty, plenty, plenty of education left to fish. Just stay tuned guys, it might get crazier than this. I shouldn't spook him. Oh, I got one. Fish on. Fish on. In the grass. Come here. Come here, buddy. He's still on. I see him. He's still on. He's still on. Clutch! <laughs> Come over here. Swing you over. Cabbage bass. Oh, yeah. Nice. Top water strikes again. In the thick stuff this time. Look how freaking nasty this stuff is. You were hiding, weren't you? I found you. I'm not sure if you guys are noticing or not, but I'm getting like much better fish on top water. Like this is, like before I picked up the frog, this would have been like my biggest fish of the day. By all means, a good bite. Look at all that grass too. With all that grass, he'd probably be about a five pounder. Okay, stinky. Get back down there. How's it going? How's it going? Come here. <laughs> Come here, I promise I won't use you as a lure. Come here. <laughs> Why are they coming over here? You guys are too friendly. <gasps> what? What is going on? I'm trying to get my boat out of the water and you guys are just hanging out. Hello. <laughs> Hello, ducks. <laughs> it's great to see you guys, though. You look great. You especially look fantastic. This is the amazing part about living in Illinois. It's half the lakes around here have hand launch only, meaning you can't back your boat down with your vehicle. Luckily, my boat and trailer is just, and I mean just, light enough to do it by hand. So, while I probably shouldn't be doing this, technically, I'm still launching this thing by hand. Just not in a very orthodox way. Oh my God. Danny the freaking duck did him dirty today. I decided to take this moment to share with you guys how today went down. And I wanna give you guys an up close, impersonal look at not only the duck lure that prevailed my biggest fish of the day, but also some of the other lures that came in this month's Mystery Tackle Box Pro Box. They're a huge sponsor of this channel. I love them so much. So they've been so kind to send over this box for me to use and for me to show you guys. So let's do just that. I know I briefly went over some of the stuff in here, but uh, I'll take a brief moment to go over everything else in a little bit more detail. So the first bait that we have here that I did not throw today was the Max Lures Crank X. Looks like your traditional square bell crank bait to me. Uh, the other hard bait that they put in here is a Booyah Prank. It's a crank bait and a popper combined. It's got the MTB exclusive stamp of approval on there, meaning that this is a color I believe that you'll only get in the MTB Pro Box, which is pretty gnarly. Then over here we've got a Baker's Lures Topwater Lure. Again, a lure that probably would have done really good for me um, if I would have gotten out a little bit earlier and gotten on that topwater, but I did see some fish surfacing today in the open water, but 
just missed it a little bit. Now let's move on to the soft plastics right here. We've got a big bite baits. Uh, what the heck is this now? It's just, there's swim baits in there. I don't know, I'm sure there's a specific name for these swim baits, but they uh, they gave you a little, little pack of swim baits. Four, good on the back of a swim jig or good just stand alone. Also, I thought about drop shotting these too. This would have been good on a drop shot. Then we got uh, a uh, lure that I've actually used a ton back in the olden days is a Rage Tail Menace. Also good for the back of a swim jig, good for finesse jigs. Also not a bad little punch and flip and pitching deal right there. Really subtle action. Looks like a turd with wings. It's the best way I can describe it. To go with your soft plastics, Mystery Tackle Box put in their hard hat jigs, rear loader, swing jig. Swinging football head, uh, what's the word for this? Like a pivot head? I can't think of the actual name of it. Help me out guys in the comment section below. What's the actual name of these things? Wobble head, thank you, wobble head, that's it. Um, and that would go good with this, to be quite honest. And last but not least, we've got the glorious and the most beautiful lure in the box, that being the Weston Danny the Gosh Darn Duck. I'm so sorry that I lost your brother today. He will not be forgotten. He will always be remembered as the uh, as the duck that prevailed. <laughs> Hashtag never forget Danny. <laughs> it's a sad moment, but uh, at least I caught a fish on it. That's all that matters. That's about it for today. Um, you guys have got to check out Mystery Tiger Box. If you haven't already done so, uh, you can subscribe. Click the link in the description below. And if you use this little code right here, you get a nice juicy little discount. Who doesn't want a discount on some baits? Check it out if you've never heard it before. The love has been absolutely insane and unreal and I have you all to thank for that. So I'm peacing out, signing out. Thank y'all for watching today's video. As always, folks, keep fishing. Never stop.